Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure Burp Suit. In case you don't know what is Burp Suit, I have already uploaded a video on that in my previous video. Have a look at it. So this video is going to be my third video on my playlist web security testing. The reason I created this playlist to teach everyone regarding web security testing. And in my first video, I uploaded about what what is web security testing and the types of it. In my second video, I uploaded what exactly is Burp Suit. So Burp Suit is a penetration testing tool. And this video is my third video. Like in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to configure your Burp Suit, that is your web security testing tool in your system. In your system means in your laptop, how to configure it. In my next video, I will be teaching you guys how to actually do web security testing taking live example of any website. So let's get started. So guys, if you remember in my previous video, I said to you guys that Burp Suit, it is developed by a company called as PortSugar. From PortSugar itself, you can go and download the Burp Suit application. So just go to the PortSugar website, go ahead and click on the Get Burp. Once you click it, just go to this community one, Get Community, which is free version and download the latest version just click on it and then it will only ask you like uh, like you need to just give which os you are using since my my os is windows 64 bit so uh, just click on this download button this is a 165 mb exe file so i'm going to cancel it because that file is already been downloaded in my system so this is a file which you're going to receive it once it is downloaded just double click on it just click on the next button of this burps suit community edition 2020.7 and then you can select the location where you want to install it and uh, then just click on next button and uh, this will be installed in your system and then there are a lot of things that you need to configure. Stay with the video. Uh, make sure you watch this video completely. Otherwise, you will not understand anything, frankly speaking. You will just keep on breaking your head, but you will not get what is the issue. So I will request you guys to watch this video full. Okay. And then just click on this finish button. So now Burp Suit is installed in your system. You can go here and uh, then just open it. Now it has been installed in your system. You can open it. So this is the exe file which you downloaded, right? This is that. So once it is downloaded, just click on next button. Uh, use default burp, okay. Start burp. So now your exe file is downloaded, but now there are a lot of configure that you need to do. And once your burp suit is installed, now, out of your different browser that you have in your system, you need to take one browser and configure that browser. So that browser will be same which you will be using it with your Burp Suit. So I have decided that I will be I will be configuring my Burp Suit with Mozilla browser. Just go to the options of Mozilla, and in that go to the network setting, and there is no proxy now. Just click on manual proxy configuration. Just, just click on manual proxy configuration and enter a proxy ID, which is 127.0.0.1 and port is 8080. Once you have selected this, also click on this button. Use this proxy for FTP and HTTPS. You need to click on this, otherwise your system will not work. And then uh, for most of you, uh, I believe that this HTTP proxy that is 127.0.0.1.80.80. It will already be written. So what you need to do is you just need to click on this manual proxy configuration. If it is written, well and good. If not, just write it 127.0.0.1. Port is 8080 and click on OK. Once this is done, go to the certificate option in this. Uh, otherwise, you can just search it like this or else you can just uh, go and uh, look for where the exactly certificate is there so now you need to import a certificate for that you need to go to a website which is https this one Bob. once you visit here click on 
see a certificate now it has been downloaded can you see that it is downloaded now what you do is click on the import option of the certificate and this is the file that you have downloaded and then you need to import the certificate that you have downloaded just click on double click of it and then you need to give this trust this ca to identify websites and trust this ca to identify email users you need to click both the checkbox and then click on ok and then click on ok here now your burp suit is configured with your mozilla browser now i will show you guys like how you can identify that it is already configured what you can do is open your burp suit click on this proxy and click on intercept off like now how to identify whether it is configured or not like now you can open your, your firefox browser and guys now you will see that each and every request that you are using on your firefox browser will reach the web server via burp suit all the requests that we are using in your browser will first come to your burp suit and then in whatever the whatever the changes you want to do you can change it and then the final response will go or final request will go to the web server this is just an example i'm giving you so, so what, what i'm doing is i'm clicking on intercept on that means i'm telling burp suit to start intercepting means start collecting the response which my browsers are giving that means i am telling my burp suit start consuming all the requests that my browser is sending before it reaches to the web server so now i am opening google let's say when i clicked on google you guys will see that this request this google.com this is just revolving like that but it won't give a result because in my burp suit i have captured the request now all the request which my browser sent that is user has entered google.com right it has come to my burp suit account it has come to burp suit if i click on intercept off that google.com will finally load if i do intercept on again and click on reload page again i have got all the information of of the user so this is how my burp suit get configured in my system so this is all about from this video guys have any doubt list out all it out in the comment section and also guys which video i should make next put out in the comment section if you think this video was useful give a thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with any friends have any doubt have any kind of doubt list out all it out in the comment section.